This right here is the Mitsubishi Triton GLS. In this video, we're going to do a comparison between the GLS and the GLX. We'll do a quick walk around of the exterior, the interior, and we're going to take it on a quick test drive. So is it worth the money? Let's find out. Here in the Philippines, the Triton comes in seven configurations. The last time we did a walk around of the GLX, this time we'll go one trim higher with the GLS. The GLS is 199,000 pesos more expensive than the GLX. So what are the differences between the two variants? Let's start with the exterior. On the outside, there are a couple of differences between the GLX and the GLS. Uh, the grille of the GLS is different. It gets a different honeycomb design. It's also finished in gloss black. On the GLX, it's finished in matte black. Uh, the GLS also gets LED headlamps, LED DRLs, and LED fog lamps. While on the GLX, all the lights are halogens. The wheels are the same as the GLX. These are 18-inch wheels finished in gunmetal. They're wrapped in 265 60 series Dunlop Grand Trek tires. Like the GLX, the GLS also comes with power folding side mirrors with repeaters. Uh, it's finished in chrome. Also, the door openers are finished in chrome. Okay, so one difference between the GLX and the GLS is that the GLS comes with a smart locking system. So you don't have to get the key out of your pocket to lock and unlock the vehicle. To lock it, just put your finger here. And to unlock it, put your finger here again. Saves you the hassle of having to get the key out of your pocket. So in the Triton lineup, only the athlete comes with a different engine. All the other variants, the GLX, the GLS, and the GL, come with the same 2.4 liter engine that puts out um, 180 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque. So for the GLS, there's only one transmission option, and that is a six-speed automatic. There is no manual variant for the GLS. Okay, from this angle, you can spot two differences between the GLX and the GLS. The GLS comes with LED day lamps, while the GLX only comes with halogen day lamps. Oh, the GLS gets this steel um, roll bar over here. It's not made of plastic like on some of its competitors, so it's actually functional. You also get the Mitsubishi logo stamped over here. Now, both the GLS and the GLX do not come with an assistant lift gate. This can be quite heavy. Uh, but you do get a bed liner on the GLS and also on the GLX. Also, this has one of the biggest beds in its segment. The Mitsubishi Triton has the second biggest bed in its segment next to the Ford Ranger. It has more than enough space to fit our sponsor for today. Introducing the Atto Sport Mobility Scooter. The world's most innovative mobility scooter. It folds into a small suitcase size and it has wheels so you can move it around like a trolley. It separates into two parts. It has leather seats and grips. An illuminated LCD dashboard. Enhanced lighting for extra visibility. You can install optional armrests. It's perfect for seniors as it's easy to lift and unfolds in seconds. It has a maximum speed of 10 kph, shock absorbing flat free tires, high ground clearance, advanced braking system, be free to travel anywhere land, sea, or air. It has 20 kilometers of continuous driving range. Engineered with flair, 
designed with passion for performance. Be active, be free, be yourself. Atto Sport, moving life. Okay, so we're now inside the Mitsubishi Triton GLS. Let's start the car. Okay, so like the GLX, we got an analog tachometer, an analog speedometer, and a digital screen at the center. Okay, so at first glance, um, it looks very similar to the interior of the GLX. Like the GLX, you get the soft touch panels over here. This is our, this is our plastic. Um, you got fabric seats, and both of them are manually adjustable. You got a manual handbrake over here. Um, this gets dual zone climate control. On the GLX, you only got single zone climate control. Uh, you get a leather wrapped steering wheel over here. This is leather wrapped over here. You get leather wrapped armrests, and you get the same um, panels over here with this full carbon fiber finish. You get dual cup holders down here you don't get any spring loaded tabs your cup might jiggle there a bit if you're if they're too small this gets a wireless phone charger which you don't get on the glx and also this gets a start stop button which you don't get on the glx over here you get one usb a port one usb c port one 12 volt outlet and you get a nine inch screen over here now like the glx this comes with apple carplay and android auto but this one comes with a 360 camera which you don't get on the uh which you don't get on the ranger sport you don't get that on any variant of the d-max or the bt50 so you got a 360 camera the resolution is pretty decent especially compared to the fortuner you get active guidelines over here um yeah you get physical knobs over here and physical buttons which i like you get power folding side mirrors yeah, you don't get paddle shifters here. Um, like the GLX, you get dual glove boxes and both of them are dampened. They're both quite spacious as well. You get um, eyewear holder up here. Yeah, it's a pretty decent looking interior for the price. Let's check out the back seat. Okay, so here at the back seat, you don't get any air convents. Um, you do get one USB-C port, one USB-A port, and one 12 volt outlet. You also get a foldable armrest with two cup holders. Now, this is a very short test drive. I'm just gonna talk about my initial driving impressions. We'll definitely try to do a more thorough review later on once we get a media unit. Um, now, first impressions, the steering feels significantly heavier than the Ranger. So supposedly the GLS and the lower variants come with hydraulic steering, while the top of the line athlete comes with an electronic power steering system. Not sure why they would offer two types of steering systems on the same platform, but apparently that's the case. Anyway, I like how the steering wheel feels in the hands, it feels quite beefy, and the leather feels quite supple. Now we don't get paddle shifters on the GLS. And we don't get those on the athlete either. The GLS comes with some driver aids like blind spot monitoring, but it doesn't have adaptive cruise control or lane departure warning. Suspension stiffness is in the middle of the pack. It doesn't offer the softest nor the harshest ride in its class. Now in terms of refinement, it feels a lot more refined than the outgoing model. Noise insulation is pretty good. Um, you don't hear diesel clatter as much as the as the previous generation. Although it has to be noted that it's not as quiet as the Ranger. Now as for fuel economy, highway NVH and such, you'll have to wait for the full review. The GLS sells for 1,582,000 pesos. That's 199,000 pesos more expensive than the GLX Automatic 4 2 And for that price difference, you get a 360 camera, a push start button, LED lighting at the front and back, dual zone climate control, a smart keyless entry system, the steel roll bar. 
Now, I wish it came with leather seats as both the Ranger Sport 4x2 and the Navara VL 4x2 come with leather seats at the same price. But the Triton GLS comes with a 360 camera, which the Ranger Sport lacks. And the Triton has a more modern and much more spacious cabin than the Navara VL. Anyway, watch out for our full review of the Triton, which will hopefully come soon. In the meantime, subscribe to be updated.